Hi there. Today we're going to make Dad's Bogan Spaghetti. Uh, we call it Dad's Spaghetti because it's a recipe that was got from his side of the family. Um, so my kids always refer to the bolognese I made before as my spaghetti and this one is Dad's Spaghetti. This one is really bogan because you use tin spaghetti. Um, I wouldn't call it a bolognese. It's just a mince meat with spaghetti dish. We need 500 grams of mince, some garlic, a tin of spaghetti, a cup of corn kernels, two carrots, which we need to grate. Oops, sorry about my finger. We need some mushroom powdered soup and two stock cubes. Normally I would use the large mushroom soup powdered, but recently we haven't been able to find that in our shops. So I just use the cup of soup, but use two packets. There's not much prep in this except grating the carrots, so I'll get on to that now. Okay, I've grated the carrots and everything's ready to go. So I've put a bit of oil in the pan, my usual favorite wok pan. Turn that on to medium heat to heat the oil. And we'll start by browning the mincemeat. Of course, make sure you've washed your hands before preparing any dishes. <coughs> Break up your mincemeat. Now this dish doesn't have onion like most dishes, but we have added onion before. And I think I preferred the flavor of it without onion, but I guess that's up to you. Preference, you know, your own personal choice. That a mix around and mix every couple of minutes until it's cooked and we'll be back to add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, it's been a couple of minutes. It's not quite cooked through, but that's fine. We're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. First, we might add the stock powder. I'm just gonna lift your camera up a second, hold on. We need to oh, crush the stock powder. The form that I have is in cubes. Let's see if I can set my camera up a minute. Can we see? Right. What I've discovered with these type, it's better if you like, instead of just trying to put a cube in, if you give it a little bit of a bash to break it up inside, made some mess but now they're like a bit powdered inside some of it's come out so we're going to add that to it I'll move you back to the pan okay. sorry about that now we're going to put these open up these sachets break it up a little bit pour it in Open up the packet a little bit. Get them all in there. Whoops, don't drop the whole packet in like I just did. Okay. All in. Just wash my hands with a bit of stir. Turn that heat down a little bit. Because the carrots are raw, I'm going to add them and them in the next. 
give them time to cook through. We don't want any, well, I don't like the texture of uh, raw carrot in there. Next, we'll put the corn because that's frozen, so that needs to cook through as well. Now I'm going to add two teaspoons of the minced garlic. up a little bit. Now I'm going to open the uh, sachets of soup powder. I just pour this in. This helps to make a bit of sauce that will thicken up. If it looks a bit dry, we can add some water. And I'll have a look, I'll stir it around. to add a cup of water. One cup should be enough. Or we'll do half at a time. See how it goes. That'll help help to cook down the vegetables and thicken up that mushroom soup. As you can see, it's pretty quick and easy recipe. It doesn't take much prep. It's good for if you're in a hurry. It's a cheap, cheap meal as far as the ingredients go. The mince meat, it's probably the dearest part of the meal, but it's pretty cheap as far as meat goes. I might add the extra bit of water. I'm gonna let that simmer for a couple of minutes to thicken up. I'll be back. To help this um, simmer to cook through the veggies, I'm gonna cover this with a lid. I use an old frying pan that fits perfectly just inside my wok. Um, I'm gonna let that simmer on low heat for five minutes and then I'll come back. Okay, that's been five minutes covered up. I'm going to add the tin spaghetti now. Just 
break that up and mix it through. Forgot to mention, I always add uh, pepper to this. It tastes a lot better with pepper added. Pepper in there. Let that heat through for a couple more minutes while we make toast to go with it. It's always best served with toast. I'll be back. Okay, it's been about two or three minutes. The spaghetti should have heated through by now. I've had a taste test. I added a little bit of salt. I'm gonna take it off the heat. I've got toast still in the toaster. I'll just move the camera We're back. Still waiting for some of the toast, but while we wait, we'll serve it up. It's about two scoops each. Little bit for me to taste, have a taste. Last lot of toast is up. I'll butter that, cut it up, and I'll cool the kids. Um, yeah, this is one of our favorites. It's cheap, easy, and as you can see, quick. And the kids love it. Um, cut this toast up. There we have it. Bogan spaghetti. Or as my kids call it, dad spaghetti. Give it a go let me know what you think like subscribe and share my video and check out my other videos have a great night enjoy